What makes creatures have different shapes? This something is in most common creatures, but cannot be seen from the outside. It is also very hard. Nighttime cannot help us see this important thing, but studying a nighttime creature can help us in this investigation. Owls eat small rodents such as mice. Since their stomachs cannot digest all of the parts of their food, they must regurgitate these leftovers, much like cats cough up hairballs. Let's see if there are any clues in these regurgitated owl pellets to help us answer our question. This is an owl pellet kit. The pellet has been sanitized for the purpose of studying it safely. In order to find out what leftovers came from this owl, we are going to dissect the owl pellet. First, we need to make sure we have a few simple tools to help in this process. This kit provides plastic forceps and a prod. Using a tray will make cleanup easier. Although the pellet has been sterilized with hot temperatures, wearing gloves will keep your hands clean. When dissecting anything, it is your responsibility to be safe. Proper use of sharp tools and following instructions in a timely manner are necessary for everyone. Never taste anything in a science lab unless your teacher gives specific instructions to do so. Are you ready to see what this owl ate? There are small objects I want to separate from the rest of the pellet. I've picked out all of the pieces I can see and I'm carefully shaking the remains for tiny objects I may not have seen yet. I have separated all of my objects and tried to group the bones. I wonder what animal this is. Do you have any ideas? Well, have you figured out what gives the animals their shape? Do you have this object? Now it's your turn to practice science investigation skills and dissect an owl pellet. What did your owl eat for dinner?